August 7 just passed. It marked two years since rapper Miski Money passed away. You know, outside of the music, um, have you ever met him? Nah, I ain't gonna even chat. I really don't even say too much about him because that's my homeboy, little brother. So, like, that's why I really don't even really do too much talking. I got respect, you know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Not for my bro and shit, so I ain't gonna even do too much with him, but I just say he chose the wrong crowd of people to hang with. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all I say. Yeah. I definitely, um, you know, I sat down and done an interview with him. He definitely was a talented young man. I, you know, he definitely had that story presence, I, I would say. You know, it's unfortunate, you know, that he passed at a, you know, early age, at the age, I think he was 18. And just looking back on our ear, interview, he had like made like an eerie statement. You know, he just, just kind of quoted Lil Tay. The other day you made a post, like on, I think it was on Facebook or something yeah. like that. He say, life you live, you might not see no more. Mm -hmm. So obviously, you know you know what come with the shit you're doing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, most definitely. You hear me? R.P. Swag, what do you say? How the fuck you gangsta, nigga? And you scared to die? You oh, yeah. That's the real ass shit. Yeah. But hey. It's just a true little fact though, you know. I probably won't see them all, but guess what though? I mean, I'm thinking about that. We just we keep going, we keep walking this path, you know. And just looking back on it, like like it's like one of them things where I did, I did an interview with um his name Raz, he's out from um the county Green Valley. But he said like when he was young at that age that he kind of prepared himself for situations like that, like if he gets shot or anything like that, and that's kind of what I prepare yourself to get popped though, you know? Like, on God, like this ain't nothing you practice. Like nigga ain't just sitting there like him shoot me, wow, and like practicing and shit. That that ain't what's happening. And I swear to God, I try my best not to speak certain shit, like certain quotes and shit like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because. That shit come back to bite you on your ass, you know what I'm saying? But but most of it you can't prevent, though. It's just a book, you know what I'm saying? That was just probably a little bro's story. Just was wrote, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know. Some niggas make it past. My brother died at 16, so, like, some niggas just make it past that, bro. And then you got some niggas that died 35 and 40. That's some shit he did when he was 18. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Who's to say, bro? Well, shit, I just, I just tell niggas, man, it just, bro, you just gotta watch the wrong, like, it's just who your crowd of people is, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Like, you can die to anybody. Like, anybody can die from pastors to anybody. If they with the wrong crowd of people, wrong place at the wrong time, you know what I'm saying? That's all that is. Nah, dude, that used to be tripping, though. On that hit, man. Like, but, shit, it's just life, bro. It's just niggas' books, man. Yeah. Everybody book wrote. Have you ever, um, I know you say you don't really speak on that, but have you ever felt that way when you was, you know, young and in the streets then? Hell no. Nah. Like, felt like a, um... Fuck, no, nah, I always told my people, I'm gonna make it out this shit. I, I swear to God, on everything I love, I got a homeboy, nigga, I swear to God, we was like, uh, it's crazy. He said some old dumb ass shit. What'd he say? Cause we, I just said something I pulled up on his ass. I'm like, hey, bro, I'm like, bro, I don't know why you just always standing out here and shit. I'm like... I'm like, niggas don't even be on shit. I'm like, and the reason you just, he like, nigga, I'm going to die in this shit. Boy, two days later, they shot his ass up. You hear? He ain't die, though. But me asking what I did, I called his ass. I said, hey, club. He said, what's up? I said, man, what you said the other day? He said, man, that's all I thought about. See, niggas talk that gangster shit until that gangster shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Then niggas overthink a lot of shit that they said and a lot of shit that they did. I'm not saying Brody soft and no shit like that because he ain't a dog, but what I'm saying is... He know he said that dumb ass shit. And then when it happened, motherfuckers like, damn, I just spoke this shit up. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't be mean in that shit, bro. On everything. I know hella niggas probably, I know everybody done wish, man. I wish I was dead. Your mama did yell at you twice when you was a kid. You probably went in the room. No, I was over dead. So, like, niggas say that until some tragedy shit happened. The first thing be like, please don't let me die. Please don't let me die. Because in our reality, you don't know what's next. So niggas ain't trying to really find out what's next. You know what I'm saying? Niggas rather, niggas rather just see some shit. Like, what's up, gang? Like, rather just be able to 
plan my next day. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen when I'm dead, but I guarantee you, I can, I can plan a whole day tomorrow, and it's gonna happen if I wake up. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like niggas just be talking, bro. I'm great. Seriously, like I know hell of niggas that say that shit until something happens. Then niggas wish they never said that shit on anything. But you know, in the streets though, niggas that say gangster shit anyway. Like just, <laughs> just some gangsta ass shit. You hear? Like seriously, I did look on my mom. I did say this one day though to my partner when I was like twelve years old. He asked me some shit like that. I'm like, nah, gang, I ain't gonna even cap. This all we know. I'm like, this is all I know. I'm like, is it, I'm gonna sell dope and throw my whole life, you know? Like, he like, nigga, you attempt with going to jail? I'm like, shit, that's what comes with this shit. I ain't attempt with it, but I'm like, nigga, that's what comes with the lifestyle that we live. This was at 12, you know? I ain't said I was gonna die, though. But <laughs> I told him I was gonna be thug. So niggas just say some different shit. Home, bro. Like you just accept what was coming with it, and I think mm. that's what he that's kind of the question I asked him also in our interview is basically what he was saying. You just gotta accept, accept it with the lifestyle. Listen, like, I'm really, I'm really one of them niggas, bro. I accept everything that come my way. Like, I swear to God, you ain't any nigga that know me. Like, I accept my defeat when it happens, bro, and my victories, bro. Like, I'm not gonna sit around and be the nigga that really hold my head down too long about some shit or none of that shit. I just deal with it. Like T.I. said, he said, nigga, he tried to take emotion out of everything and just deal with the facts of life, bro. That's me. Like, it is what it is. Like, simply. What that bitch say, what that bitch say, uh, she said, at the end of the day, the day gonna end. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, the day gotta oh, end. Ain't like that, man.